What is your best don't knock it till you try it, Euro style board games like Settlers of Catan, Ticket to Ride, or Carcassonne. When I tell people I play board games like this, they automatically think they would hate it, but give it one try and most people enjoy them. The hardest part is actually getting someone to sit down and try one, and setting up Settlers expansion packs. Balsamic Vine Garons Liced Fresh Strawberries Seriously, a dash of black pepper is my go-to strawberry condiment, but I can imagine balsamic would be good. Buying an attaché of all day from Amazon. Now my butthole is sparkling clean and hardly use any TP, and now my Amazon recommend section is laughing at me. From 17.49 used, click the link, and realized I was logged into my brother's Amazon account, added to cart. Let's see if he notices. One question point as someone who has never had water or anything squirted at my bum. Is it awkward at first? My GF doesn't like to use it because it's cold, but they have bidets that keep the water warm. To answer your question, I guess anything new around your bunghole is a little weird at first point especially shooting water. But just think about it as a shower for your butthole point not much difference. In fact, find a shower with a detachable show ahead and try it out. One thing I would say is that you kind of have to control your sphincter a bit because the water can shoot into your ectum and work like a mini enema. But I've never had any issues. If anything, that cleans your area down there even better. Grilled PB and J's. I fry up uncrustables like grilled cheese. Dude, deep fried. Badminton. It's not just some backyard PS wish, it's actually really intense and fun. I effin love badminton. Wear pajamas under your pants. Whenever it's cold out, it will change your life. Longens. Therapy. Seriously, it's good stuff. And you don't have to have major mental illness to benefit. Listen to music in the shower. My favorite part of this is how the echo of your voice in a shower always makes you sound like you have the best voice in the world when you sing along. Parmesan cheese in your soup. It gives it a great flavor, especially in tomato soup. Cheese turns it into pizza soup. Over easy egg on a bacon cheeseburger. This is a bad thread to read while pregnant. Now I cannot function until I go eat an egg burger. You are making a person. Eat all the damn egg burgers you want. Take your pants completely off when you sit down for a dump. The slightly lessened restriction on your lower legs is fantastic. I read somewhere that the human body was actually made to schwal squatting. And the way we do it now adds unnecessary stress to the bowels. Can't say I've ever actually tried it though. We have a bathtub directly across from the toilet. I used the edge of the tub like a little foot platform a few weeks ago point, And I'll be damned. My poo slid out of me like a Pinewood Derby car with greased axles. Pros. Lesson dump time by approximately 90%. Cons. I haven't finished last week's Economist yet. You have a muscle that is always activated when you're sitting slash standing. Keeping the poo in. That's still active when you're sitting on a toilet and you are always straining against it. Eventually it loses tone and you will become incontinent later in your life it's a gigantic epidemic nobody talks about. When you squat, that muscle relaxes, and it takes zero effort to crap. Find yourself a stool, place that right against the toilet, prop your feet up on it, and feel the difference. You have no idea how empty you can actually feel. You should check out the squatty potty, if you haven't already. A friend of mine gets completely naked to poop. Even in public restrooms, pooping naked is one of life's greatest pleasures. George, re i i a friend, not gonna lie I've done this pre-shower, you feel like you're shitting the way you were meant to sh- Chocolate with sea salt. Live theater, musicals, sketches, plays. My friends think I'm nuts, but I go to one every month or so, and I have loved every single one. Don't knock it till you try it. Sitting down in the shower, if you're ever even a little bit stressed. This can be the most relaxing thing to do. Get it a good temperature. Sit down, pull your knees up, and wrap your arms around them. Put your head down, and just let the water pour over you. It's goddamn amazing. Not as cool, but rooting your Android phone. If you have an oldie that the manufacturer has left behind, try find a jelly bean, or even an ice cream sandwich wrong. Feels like a whole new phone and stock X and JB look so much nicer than previous versions. Going to the gym. Seriously, when I first started I thought it was just about a bunch of braggers lifting as much as possible. 
but if you can find a decent gym, and keep going regularly for the first few months you'll find yourself enjoying it, you can meet interesting people there, and it is a nice community, that is aware of his slash her body and it's just fun training together, I would never want to miss it anymore, even though I don't have a lot of time for it anymore, because of my study in my new residence, based on a few negative responses, I'm posting a few small secrets to a successful gym routine for people who have tried and failed to stick with it. First, no matter what you do, you are going to be damn sore after your first few sessions. Don't let this discourage you. Your body is not used to exercise, and it will have a hard time recovering. You can save yourself a lot of grief by going easy on yourself the first few times. Eventually you won't have any soreness. Next, realize that everyone has a hump to get over. This is partially due to the aforementioned soreness, partially due to feeling out a routine and getting into a habit, and partially mustering, will power to actually geo, and not sit on your, butt at home. However, once you've been following a routine for a few weeks, it will start to feel great. Also, and I cannot stress this enough, you need to find exercises you enjoy. If you hate running, ride a bike. If you hate biking, try an elliptical. If you hate push-ups, do bench press, etc etc. You should feel good, while you are exercising. Not like sh- Don't confuse that to mean it should be easy though. Eventually if you get more into it, you can go back and try some things you didn't use to enjoy. With more developed muscles, you may find they aren't so bad anymore. Start small. People want fast results, but going nuts and spending 3 hours in the gym because you're really putting in the effort this time is not the answer. You will hate yourself for the next several days and never want to go again. Pick a few exercises, maybe four, and spend a half hour doing them. Increase the breadth of your routine gradually over time. You can't rush this stuff. Finally, don't kill yourself. You don't have anything to prove to anyone. By slapping more plates onto the bar than you can handle. Lift light. Run slow. Build your strength over time. And learn to do your exercises properly, and with an appropriate amount of weight. Improper form and excessive weight makes for a fast track to injury. If you're self-conscious, realize that the people who know what they're doing at the gym are shaking their heads at guys with terrible form lifting huge weight. And they respect guys with great form lifting appropriate weight. I never talk to anyone at the gym. I don't want to. Just let me grow. And sweat in peace. Sleeping naked. I always assumed everyone did it, but apparently not. I do this too, but keep sweats and a shirt nearby in case of fire or some other event that would leave me swinging my junk in the street. Such foresight is admirable. Never pass up an opportunity to swing your junk in the street. You should organize a reddit sleepover. Only if we are wear for TPJS. At first, bonus, soft sheets and a lady friend next to slash on top of you. Prostate massage. Sushi or a shower beer. Replace vanilla extract with coffee grounds when baking. If you're a coffee lover. Avocados. The consistency used to make me cringe. But now I love them. Guacamole. On pizza. In sandwiches. Plain with salt slash pepper. Sushi point seriously can't get enough of them now. Smile. Holy crap this shiz overpowered. I didn't realize how manipulative our moods are, until I started intentionally smiling at people, and observing their responses. I'm one of those people, that can be perfectly content on the inside, but not show a sign of it outwardly. So when I started faking it for a job, customer relations stuff, the response was nothing short of mind blowing. Throwing a sheeting grin in the face of beat its 9000 and her devil children knocks her so far off balance you expect her to topple out of her motor scooter. And when dealing with the opposite gender, forget about all this art of gainsh, just make it obvious you're having a good time will have you swimming in the attention. Who knew people were attracted to fun right? Holy crap this shiz overpowered. It's getting nerfed in the next patch. Enjoy it while you can. Pho. Best soup ever. Being nice to people for no reason. It will change your life. Simply making eye contact and smiling at someone will make their day. Unless you're standing next to them at the urinal. So what I'm getting from this thread is to eat mayo, pickles, peanut butter and chocolate with a pen up my butt. Having six and playing Magic the Gathering. Hi, I'll see what I can do. Point I. Dungeons and Dragons. Started playing with my flatmates recently, and it's great fun. 
although this could be dependent on who you play with, our sessions are basically a few hours of adventuring and laughing. Potato chips on PB&J sandwiches, plain tastes best, or a mild flavor, like BBQ or Sold and Vinegar. In what world, is Sold and Vinegar considered a mild flavor? Sold and Vinegar crisps in a ham salad sandwich with some mature cheese, OMFG. Online dating, I consider myself a reasonably attractive dude with a good sense of humor, and I never had real issues meeting girls or anything at college, high school, etc. When I entered the real world, However, I didn't have time to go out. Also, I had my theory, at every bar, is probably a handful of girls you may be interested in. Out of those 5 or so, 3 probably had boyfriends. Out of the remaining 2, it is possible, that they don't have any interest in you at all. And if one does, she may not be looking for it, and or her friends can cock block. Online dating is like drafting a girlfriend. You get to pick who you want to talk to, sift through tons of pictures to find people you're attracted to and use the shotgun approach to see who gets back to you. Best of all, you know they are there looking for someone, especially if it is a subscription site. If you don't add online dating to your dating repertoire, well, more for us, agreed. After a lot of reluctance, I joined a cupid after a friend suggested it. I met one girl who was a complete disaster. We went on one date, it sucked, and we never talked again. The second girl I met was awesome. We've been dating for 3.5 years and we are getting married in October. I'd say that's pretty damn efficient. Perks include having someone automatically know what you're looking for, trying to meet women at bars, parties, etc. is always awkward because you don't really know where they are with regard to relationships. Is she single? If she has a boyfriend, is she happy with him? Or is she looking for an exit? If she's single, is she just happy being single? Or is she looking for a guy? These are crucial questions, but it's not really polite to directly inquire about them. The crazy people tend to give themselves away quickly. I can't tell you how many times I saw a cute picture, clicked to get to her profile, and then saw a page long rant about how she just wants someone who will just man the f up, and help me raise my goddamn kids not like Carl that doucher bag you ruined my life I'm sick of cheaters and fakes I will not play your stupid games. The compatibility questions ask about a lot of things that are important, but difficult to discuss without sounding confrontational and or perverted. They ask questions ranging the IQ test variety to sexual kinks to political views. You then can see a coarse grained comparison on their profile. Anyway, long story short, if you're single and looking for someone, it's definitely worth trying. Worked for me. Chocolate covered potato chips. That actually sounds really good. It's got the sweet and salty thing going on. Jalapeno flavored potato chips in dark chocolate. Freshly deep fried dill pickles. They don't reheat well at all. Ketchup on green beans. Yes I grew up in the south. Why do you ask? The McDonald's by my house has a version of these. They coat the pickles in sourdough batter and fry them. It's called T-H-E asterisk M-C-D-I-L-L-D-O-U-G-H asterisk. Mountain Dew floats. That she's good. Also. Watching bad, as in, almost painfully bad, movies with friends. They're hilarious when you can make fun of them with friends. Using baby wipes, when you poop, I think it was Howard Stern who pointed out that, if you got a bit of human sh on your leg, you wouldn't just wipe it off with a piece of dry tissue, it makes your butthole feel like it just smoked a menthol. Incidentally, I used a body wash the other day, that had menthol in it, my escape hatch felt like a York peppermint patty commercial. This is not something I want. I prefer to wait until I'm done pooping to use the wipes. But I suppose this is a don't knock it till you try it thread. People knock these. I've never looked back since I remember they existed a few years ago. Sushi. I couldn't even think of putting raw fish into my mouth without my stomach turning. Then I tried it. Life has never been the same. Sushi is one of my favorite foods. It's interesting so she is listed in this thread. Living in California all my life, it never even occurred to me that so she was weird. Cool getting other people's perspectives. I often forget that there are people who think chopsticks are exotic and so she is dangerous. So she isn't necessarily raw. The term so she just refers to the vine gar ice used. It is often raw, but that shouldn't be the assumption. Sashimi is raw fish. Cooked sushi are typically more grilled deal, or seared beef, while the center is still very raw. 
sex in public places. What a rush. The sex probably isn't what most people have a problem with. It's most likely that whole I don't want to get arrested thing. Taking a shot of whiskey and chasing it with kosher dill pickle juice. Sounds disgusting is delicious. And then a line of coke. Obviously, another line of coke. It's called a pickler bag, and they are goddamn amazing. At the same time, they also seem to be the heartburn express. So if you have issues with heartburn, I'd stay away. Hot Kool-Aid. Everyone always turns their nose up to the idea of making Kool-Aid with boiling water instead of cold water. It's amazing. I made this for you. Liverwurst. Everybody always cringes when I get it, but it is delicious. Get it with mustard. So good. The top comment isn't anal. So proud of Reddit today. Dipping french fries in a vanilla milkshake or ice cream. I order a chocolate frosty with my burger and fries from Wendy's for this very purpose. I have a theory that my entire generation believes they were the first person to try dipping fries in a frosty at Wendy's. Banana bread fried in garlic butter, optionally, then made into a grilled cheese sandwich, you are, you're pregnant, or hi, I will not make a banana bread, pastrami, cottage cheese sandwich. Brussels sprouts, blindly hated them as a child, they just seem to smell odd, can't get enough of it now, sear them with olive oil, vine gar, garlic, salt and pepper, heavenly, I order them as an additional side almost every time I eat out. My theory Brussels sprouts is that people just hate the way they are prepared. I've made roasted Brussels sprouts for dozens of non-believers who had only ever had them steamed and every one of them has come around. You should try kale using the same method. Baked kale turns into an addictive pseudo potato chip. Not caring what other people think. I don't know who originally said it, but one of my life mottos is we wouldn't care so much what people thought of us, if we realized how seldom they do. No salt on watermelon yet, gonna get buried, do not care, salt, on, watermelon. Pouting. Pineapple jalapeno pizza, while we are talking about pizza try bbq chicken bacon pizza, that stuff's good to, good to what? I must know. This thread seems to revolve around drugs food and anal sex. I'm okay with this. Pizza rolls and sour cream. Sour cream on everything. Doors. Damn. That took me way too long. I had to think to myself. What was the title of this thread again? Using an ET pot point it's like a power wash for your sinuses. Reduces the duration and severity of colds. And feels effing amazing. Most people I know think this looks like a torture device, and would rather pound Sudate for two weeks. Nerdy games like Magic the Gathering, deactivating your Facebook account. Since finding Reddit, my Facebook time has dropped by 85% at least. My sitting in front of the computer time has increased by 500%. Unfortunately, I feel the same way about D&D. Everyone makes it out to be some game fat neck that's play in a basement and slay trolls. While this is somewhat true, the game is much much more than that. It's about telling a story and interacting in your own way. It's like playing a video game and not being restricted by the coding of the game. You can do whatever you want. Oh, there is a town guard watching the door to a supply building and you need a way in. Just stab yourself and yell for help to get his attention and have him assist you while your friends sneak in. Dungeons and Dragons is basically a structured version of the time on act of sitting around a table with snacks and beer telling stories. My D&D group consists of the following. Friend hash one former inmate, convicted of possession with intent of coke, sold in coke throughout high school, and until he was 22, was heavily involved in gangs, then had a daughter to a crazy woman, and went straight, so he could be a single father, which he is an awesome single father. Friend hash two. Brother of friend 1, ex-navy, works hard every day of his life to support his developmentally challenged son. Charismatic, very attractive, was always a hit with the ladies before he decided to commit to the mother of his child. Friend hash 3, my roommate, former pot dealer turned very successful environmental engineer, used to train marines in combat driving, maneuvers for urban areas, like fast J turns and the like, so they could use that cover to have him come in and help them teach Krav Maga techniques despite that he wasn't approved to do so, and I'll form the head 
The best part of MTG is, when you know exactly how the next few moves will play out, resulting in your victory. I find it hard to maintain a poker face in this situation.